Hi, this is Troy Mason from AI Entrepreneur Newsletter, and I'm going to be trying out this new form of prompt crafting for Midjourney V5. If you don't know by now, Midjourney themselves have said that this natural language style is the most effective way to write prompts if you're using V5 mode. It's like feeding your prompts to Midjourney in a more conversational way. I'm really excited to see how it works and share my experience. Of course, tools like Midjourney are still relatively new. They keep changing and getting updated. So nothing I say here is set in stone. It's just me playing around with V5 and sharing my experience. So without further ado, let's get into it. So as I said, NL or natural language is just writing as you would naturally. The actual advice from Team Midjourney was to write as though you were a child writing a sentence in school. So I take that to mean that instead of writing a prompt like this, it should now be written like this. I want to create some scary horror style imagery. Because horror is quite a broad word, I think it's wise to hone my ideas and come up with some associated keywords first. To do that, let's break down the genre of horror into its various subgenres to unearth the keywords. I used ChatGPT to help with this research and I gathered a list of 12 different horror styles and their associated keywords. The full list will be on the aienewsletter.com website, I'll leave the link down below. For now though, I'll just go over the first horror style, which will be psychological horror. This style of horror usually focuses on the character's internal struggles and their mental states. It often involves themes of paranoia, hallucinations and anxiety. So I've got the list of keywords from ChatGPT, that's paranoia, madness, claustrophobic, nightmarish, unsettling, disturbing, mind-bending, delusional, schizophrenic, and hysterical. Okay, so I'm going to run the prompt. A nightmarish class of 1994 photo with all students smiling but appearing unsettlingly deformed with ravaged facial features and tattered clothing. I'm going to rerun with a style modifier and a change of lighting. So I've added in the style of 1980s horror movies with warm vintage lighting. Okay, I'm going to run it again but with stylization. So I'm going to add stylize 1000. Let me try something else. An eerie photograph of an ornate haunted manor house with a supernatural entity appearing at a window. Okay, I don't see any entities in any windows, but I like how these houses were illustrated. I'll re-roll the prompt, and I've got my entity, just standing at a downstairs window. I'm feeling very inspired by Resident Evil Village at the moment, I've been playing a lot of it. So let me try an eerie photograph of a macabre scene inside an ornate room of a haunted manor house showing the face of a sinister supernatural entity reflected in the mirror. Okay, it's trying to create a reflection here. I really like the detail of everything. I have to admit the descriptive words do seem very powerful as Team MJ put it. I like how it's smart enough to make it look reflected and even include a nice blurring effect here. Ah, oh, we have some displacement here with the elements and it looks like this guy's actually coming out of the mirror. Just out of curiosity, let me try adding the keyword Resident Evil Village to see if it has an effect on the overall aesthetic. Yeah, it seems like it has worked. These are actually very nice looking but I want to see more of the room itself. So let me add wide view and full length mirror. And I'm going to try adding weights as well. So we'll add room with a weight of one. Nice, it seems that weights work well here. I can definitely see more of the room. Yeah, I'm happy with the look of everything. I could literally spend hours on this prompt alone, so I'll move on to something else. So I'm going to get a list of high quality cameras to use in my prompts. I'm going to head over to ChatGPT and enter the prompt. List me the specs of five high-end professional cameras capable of producing studio quality photographs. And here's its reply. Okay, now I want to get some camera angles. So again, I tell ChatGPT, list me five different camera angle shots and it gives me this. Great, now I'm gonna come up with a baseline idea and then explore the idea more by using the stylized and chaos parameters. 
all right so straight off the top of my head i want a scary looking mermaid beast type underwater thing so i'm going to type dutch angle shot taken underwater with a sony a7r4 camera of a vicious looking mermaid approaching the viewer Okay, and this is not what I wanted. Okay, if I apply some weights, let's have a look. So we put monster weighted one. I get this, which is a bit better. Okay, it seems I went a bit overboard with the weights here and the image is starting to look a bit flat and boring. So knowing when and if weights are needed does seem important. I'm going to leave the scary mermaid for now and return to it. For now, I'm going to try Dutch angle shot taken with a Sony A7R4 camera of a hyper-realistic HR Geiger style monster with highly textured skin with glistening details and dripping fluid. All right, these are nice. Okay, let me try terrifying low angle shot photograph taken with a sony a7r4 camera of a contorted repulsive creature staggering down a flight of stairs we'll add chaos 100. <laughs> okay only the first one looks promising i'm going to reply to it with the envelope so that i get the seed value for it now i'll copy that seed and add it to my prompt and run the prompt again. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna type the prompt again with the seed, but this time I'll change the creature to a werewolf and remove the chaos parameter. They look okay. I'm gonna gather a list of famous horror photographer names now. So again, to ChatGPT, list me the names of five well-renowned professional Hollywood horror photographers whose work has been featured in several famous horror movies. Okay, so I'm a Hellraiser fan, so I'm gonna choose Bob Keane. And my favorite is the first one, so I'm gonna choose V1 to make a variation of it, and I'm gonna add Bob Keane's name and HR Geiger's name to my prompt. Okay, these don't look like werewolves, but they're still pretty good. So including camera names and artists or photographer styles really do make a difference. I think the overall form of the creature just looks better. It's better in, you know, proportion-wise, and it just looks more polished. Thanks for joining me on my first spooky journey with Midge V5. I hope these prompts don't give you too many nightmares. Before you go, be sure to subscribe to the AIE newsletter for the latest news on all things Mid Journey and other amazing AI tools. I'll be back soon with more AI horror adventures, so stay tuned. In the meantime, feel free to comment and let me know what you think of this video or with your own horror prompt ideas. Until next time, have fun exploring the dark side of AI and I'll speak to you soon.